Hi team, this is Robin. Uh, I wanted to get on here today and do a quick screencast-o-matic video um, where I essentially um, am, am a voiceover on um, a video where I'm showing you the screen that I really want you to reference in the future. So this is something new that our team is rolling out. Um, we are hoping that this will give you the ability to help your downline or help your new ambassadors um, really get the ball rolling soon when they get started um, with posting on Facebook. So I have talked many, many, many times um, to the team about the um, power of leveraging social media. It is how I absolutely built my business through that and through doing informational events um, along the way, those two key things really built my business and the consistency in posting about Plexus and educating and informing your Facebook audience about what Plexus is, what Plexus has done for you, what Plexus has done for others is really gonna catapult your business. It does not happen overnight. People are watching and people are, are reading and looking at what you're doing on Facebook. They may never respond, they may never like, they may never comment on a post, but believe me, they are watching. So with that being said, I really felt like a lot of the team members that we add, um, they you really have the desire to start posting about Plexus, but you just don't know where to begin. So I figured out um, a way that we could try to take the guesswork out of about what to post on on Facebook about Plexus. Um, keep in mind that you are, this is never going to replace your personal experience and your personal um, testimony about Plexus. That is the most important thing, is that you're, you're constantly uh, blogging about, meaning on Facebook, posting about your own personal testimony. It does not have to be weight loss. It could be anything. Your energy levels, your sleeping better, uh, you losing fat inches you losing your carb cravings or your sugar cravings, uh, you getting improved sleep, you having uh, less acne, your psoriasis clearing up, um, you having you know less pain, less uh, inflammation. All of those things are great things to post about, um, but we know that with every single non-scale victory or weight loss victory, you, you can't possibly post about that every single day. It's gonna get old. So you need to have other things to post about, and that's what this particular uh, secret Facebook group is for okay so this is called Plexus post and more you have not been added to this page just yet but I am I am informing you guys now um, I have several leaders on the team that helped me create this page and we are going to be front-loading um, compliance approved post for you every single week so a certain day of the week I think it will probably be Sunday we will have um, 10 posts per administrator on this page, and there are about nine administrators. So there could be up to 100, uh, 90 to 100 new posts a week that are added to this page, which makes your life super simple. Why? Because all you have to do is go to this page, Plexus Post and More, and you'll be added. Um, I'm going to tag my entire level one downline, and I expect for them to then um, start adding their teammates and then tagging their downline so they can add their teammates and so forth and so on. So you should be added to this page within the next day or so, okay? Because as soon as I post this video, I will tag all of my level ones, and they'll begin tagging as well, okay? So with that being said, when you go to this page, when you're added to this page within the next day or so, all you have to do, I would recommend reading the pin post. Uh, Angela was one of the administrators, and she essentially is saying what this what this page is for, the description of this page. So make sure you read the pin post, which is at the very top. It'll always be the first post. That won't change. But then you will see um, all of these different articles, uh, different posts about our products. Okay. Sometimes you'll read about um, ingredients that are in our products. You'll read testimonies, okay? Um, all of these are going to be things that you can simply copy and paste. If you're on your phone, especially if you have an iPhone, you can easily copy the text and then save the image to your camera roll, okay? You cannot share the post 
on this page. Do please do not click the share button. If you're on your regular Facebook page, which I'll show you in a minute, I'm really going to show you something that I don't want people to do on this team because it really is just a lazy way to post. Um, it, it just doesn't it doesn't allow people to see that you're taking your business seriously because you're basically sharing about Plexus through the eyes of someone else. So while we know that half of this stuff we didn't create on our own, we got it from other Plexus people, or some of us may have created some of these, but these articles we didn't write, none of this. But it's something about you sharing something when it looks like it's originally coming from you, people are more likely to read it. Um, and I'll give you an example of that in just a second. So. Um, when you get added to this page, if you have a downline, if you have team members, meaning if you have anybody on your team that signed up under you directly, then you should go right here in this section and add those members to the team page. Okay, This is not for you to add anybody else other than your own team members to this page. This is exclusively for my downline, um, Robin Sullivan's downline. Okay, It's not for anybody else. So this is not for your customers. This is not for your potentials. This is not for your mom. This is just for the people on your team, okay? This is just for the people on your team. And this is simply a tool for you to use so you don't have the excuse anymore or have the, the reason to say, well, I don't know what to post or I don't have time to find something to post or I don't have time to create a post. This is, this is done for you. Um, the other thing I want to encourage you to do is with these posts, Try not to just go straight from the top and just start going in order because a lot of us do have mutual friends and what you don't want to do, you don't want to get in the habit of posting, um, having 15 of us on the team posting the same thing every single day because you're going in and just order on this page. Try to mix it up. Scroll down and say, what, you know, what do I want to post about today? I want to post about sugar cravings, okay? So then you go and you find a post of sugar cravings, which by the way, you could probably start using this search bar to search certain things that you may want to say and it'll pull up keywords in that particular post, okay? But just try to um, go and pick random uh, things from this page and don't just go in order because then we're going to see a lot of the same people on our team posting the same post every day if we all go in order from top to bottom on this page and that's not going to do any good because then if you have the same mutual friend as five other people on this team, then they will just, those friends that you are, you all have as a mutual friend will just begin ignoring your post because they're going to be like, oh, well, on Mondays, they all want to post about think fat loss, not weight loss. I'm just going to ignore Marquita's and Sophie's and Robin's and Angela's because they all post about the same thing. You don't want to get in the habit of doing that. You want people to be engaged with your post, okay? So, so vary it up. And don't only post articles one week. You know, we might have a couple articles in a row here, um, but we don't want you. You don't want to post an article every single day. You want to post maybe two articles a week, um, two testimonies a week, and then post a couple of product knowledge uh, posts a week. Like this is a product knowledge post. It's just about X Factor itself and what's in it. Okay, and feel free guys to t to type in here something personal something you've experienced with the x factor if your nails and hair are growing more um, if you have gotten more energy from taking x factor you notice a difference in the energy levels um, anything whatever your personal experience is if you have experience with that product just add that personalize these posts um, so we're giving you the tools to get it started but we still want you to personalize the post if, if at all possible so what I want to talk about before I end this call or end this uh, video is I just want to show you a shared post. Let me just go to my regular timeline. Let's see. So when someone shares a post, you all know what it looks like, but I really just want everybody to be aware. Um, if I were to just click, let's see. If I were to click share, Okay, it's then going to show like I'm posting what, who is this, who did this? Melissa Matwire, good friend of mine from high school. So I would be posting and it would look like Melissa is the one who originally typed up this post because she did, but I'm sharing it. It just doesn't look good. Um, and the reason why it doesn't look good, again, is because it looks as if you, 
you don't want to take the time to create your own Plexus post, even though you're trying to generate business or generate people's interest um, to come to you about Plexus, but you're not willing to take the time to create your own post. Whereas if I just simply saved this image and said something about the Texas State Fair on my own, it would look like it came from me and not from my friend Melissa. So you, you just want to be aware that this is not, clicking the share button is really not going to be good for you and your business. Um, take it from me. People scroll past shared posts all the time because it's not original. It's just not original. Um, so really get out of the habit of doing that. If, and some of you, you, you see something so good and you're like, I don't have time to copy and paste and all that. And so you just want to click share. Um, please just try to stay straight away from that. And instead, uh, take a screenshot of that post or copy it and paste it in your notes section and share it later when you really have time. But by the time you've done all that, you might as well have posted it in my opinion. So, um, or maybe you can't do it because you're on the job and you don't really want to post about something on Facebook during work hours. If that's the case, then take a screenshot of it or save it in your notes section and share once you get off work. So anyway, I hope that this is helpful for you guys. If you're watching this video, thank you for taking the time. This is really going to help uh, boost your business and help uh, boost your team's business. So please, leaders, um, and I, when I say leaders, I mean anybody who has a downline. Please encourage your team to begin. Look at those cute babies. Um, please encourage your team to do everything they can to get on this, uh, this page. Let me go back to it. Uh, to go on this page and really begin utilizing these posts, um, taking them and, and, and put, placing them on their own personal timeline every single day. The more you post, the more business that you will generate, believe me. Um, if you're not a big Facebook poster and you're brand new to Plexus, begin engaging people and start posting about your personal things in your life. Um, when you go to the fair, when you are talking, um, when, when you are um, doing something with your family, when you were going to church, um, inspirational quotes, inspirational graphics, uh, scriptures, anything, just begin sharing on about uh, your own personal life and then balance that with Plexus Post. So I hope this is informative. I hope everyone is having a good Monday and go Plexus.